Do you know pneumonia is the number one killer disease among children? Let us see about pneumonia in today's video. Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat and this is Scientific Doctor channel. In this channel, you will view videos related to health topics released every week. If you want to see such videos, kindly subscribe to this channel. Also press the bell icon to get instant notifications on new content. Today we are going to see about pneumonia. What is pneumonia? Pneumonia literally is infection of the lungs. Though there can be some non-infectious causes, infections predominate. Technically it is infection in the alveoli that is the air sacs inside the lung and the surrounding tissues. What are all the causes of pneumonia? Like any infectious disease, bacteria, viruses, tuberculosis bacteria as well as fungi and protozoa can cause pneumonia. Though today's discussion will predominantly involve about bacterial pneumonia which is the common and dangerous pneumonia. There can be other causes of pneumonia like aspiration pneumonia when you aspirate something into your lungs or especially if it is due to some chemicals like kerosene or other hydrocarbons, it can be called as chemical pneumonitis. How does it happen? We all know pneumonia like any other respiratory infection is spread from person to person via their coughing, sneezing and via these acts the bacteria are inhaled into one's respiratory system. They may sometimes get deposited in the nasopharynx or maybe directly inhale. If it is deposited and colonized in the nasopharynx, the content may again be aspirated into the lungs to cause pneumonia. But usually lungs have defense mechanisms like cough reflex and other immune mediators. So that's why pneumonia does not happen always. But in case of when the bacterial load is high or if the bacteria is very virulent that is very powerful or if the immune system in the individual is defective for some reason like it happens in case of extremes of age young children as well as elderly individuals can be susceptible to pneumonia due to their weakened immune system or because of certain diseases like heart disease or lung disease or diabetes mellitus or smoking can weaken their lung defenses and can lead on to pneumonia. What are the symptoms in pneumonia? Fever, especially high grade fever often with chills can be present in pneumonia. There can be fast breathing. There can be difficulty in respiration manifested by lower chest in drawing. Your chest might go in and out during your respiration. You can have cough. You may have chest pain especially in older children and adults. You may also have other symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea or loss of appetite. How do doctors diagnose pneumonia? They may do a clinical examination. Often they may pick up sounds, lung sounds which are abnormal and this may prompt them to do other examinations and investigations and they may confirm pneumonia. A chest x-ray is often done to confirm pneumonia and blood tests are also useful in the diagnosis of pneumonia. Pneumonia can give rise to complications especially like lowered oxygen tension that is the oxygen level in the blood goes down or the pneumonia may become more extended, become purulent, can lead on to lung abscess or empyema. It can lead to fluid correction outside the lung called pleural effusion. Sometimes the bacteria causing pneumonia may spread through the bloodstream and cause a generalized infection called sepsis. What are the danger signs in pneumonia? If the child or the individual has a poor sensorium, that is they are confused or lethargic or difficult to arouse from their sleep, that is a danger sign for pneumonia. If they turn blue, especially the peripheries like your hands and feet or your nose and lips turn blue, that again denotes a danger sign in pneumonia. If the chest in drawing becomes severe, they have very fast breathing, they are not able to breathe, that is a danger sign for pneumonia, which may also be manifested by your nasal flaring, your nostrils, 
with each respiration flaring up and down that can be a sign of pneumonia or they can have a sound like <coughs> grunt called as grunt in pneumonia if any of these danger signs are present you have to rush to the hospital immediately what is the treatment for pneumonia the treatment will depend upon the severity of pneumonia as also the age of the individual often if they are severely ill they may require oxygen in worst cases you may even need ventilatory support that is artificial respiration and to kill the bacteria you will need antibiotics in case of individuals who are able to take orally this may be given orally or if they are sick or admitted they may be given via the intravenous route how to prevent pneumonia as i have said in the early part of the video pneumonia spreads through person to person contact so hand hygiene and cough hygiene becomes paramount what do i mean by that that is if a person has any sort of respiratory infection if they have sneezing or cough they should not do it directly they should do it into a clean cotton handkerchief or if they don't have it they should not do it via their hands because they are going to touch any common object with these hands contaminated hands they are going to spread the disease so if they don't have anything to sneeze or cough into we might you as well use our elbows so that it doesn't spread to others smoking should strictly be avoided because smoking in the household can also give rise to pneumonia in the children because the children who are in the vicinity of persons who smoke will also be considered to have passive smoking that may impair their lung defenses and can lead on to pneumonia apart from these measures you have vaccines against certain bacteria especially haemophilus influenza b and streptococcus pneumoniae or pneumococcus which are more important causes of pneumonia so by getting these vaccines at the appropriate age you can prevent pneumonia viruses can also give rise to secondary pneumonia so by giving vaccines against certain viral diseases we can prevent this secondary pneumonia from happening especially measles and chickenpox that is varicella vaccines can prevent against pneumonia also as we know flu influenza or swine flu these denote the seasonal influenza which can occur from year to year this is the most common cause of pneumonia or secondary pneumonia in developed nations so by getting yearly flu vaccines we can prevent a certain extent of pneumonia friends today we have seen a little about pneumonia if you like this video kindly share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye